Okay, today I thought we'd play with one of my favorite toys that Radio Shack ever made. Loved all their claws and gripping and all those kind of manipulating arms and stuff, but the uh, Z707 Battle Iron Claw was cool because it's on tank treads and you could drive it anywhere. You could go outside and over the sidewalk and over the dirt and if you're inside you could go through the carpet and over your toys and you could just go anywhere with this sucker. As you can see it's a very large box and it was custom made for Radio Shack in North Korea. I don't see a date anywhere on this. However, here's the manual so let's take a peek in there and see if there's any sort of date or anything. It talks about uh, battery placement. No dates there. There's a 9 volt battery and 4 C cell batteries in the uh, iron claw itself and then there's a 9 volt battery in the transmitter. And here it's telling you how to use the controls but they're pretty much self-explanatory. Picking up objects. Now here's a trimmer under the bottom in case your tank doesn't go straight forward when you uh, tell it to. You can adjust that. A little trim pot. Talks about the uh, idiot lights on the tank and on the transmitter. So that you know things are good. And you could use uh, rechargeable batteries with it. It has a uh, charging port. If you had uh, rechargeable batteries, as you can see here it's showing that, but it's warning you not to charge normal batteries, only use the rechargeable batteries. And now that we've looked through all that, I don't see a date. Not even down there. So what was this? Uh, is this the 1980s or the late 1970s? I'm going to guess 1980s. In any case, I guess we'll start up here on the counter, but you know we're going to have to move down to the floor at some point. The uh, on-off switch is back here. There's the charging port. And uh, here's the transmitter. It has an idiot light that's on. Let's see if there's a date on here. Nope. This one is the 27 megahertz that uh, all the old analog 27 megahertz toys have problems out here in the hut. Something out here is throwing out interference in that same frequency range. Could even be a neighbor with a CB, who knows. But you have uh, your flashing light on the uh, tank itself, which actually you can angle into different positions. And then you've got the claw, which you can raise and lower. That'd be a down place, and then to pick something up, you would push this button. The claws would close. Maybe it'd be better if I showed that straight on. Maybe you could see the claws open then. Same buttons open and close. You would just wait for it to cycle, and it's uh, spring-loaded, so you shouldn't break anything. Now, as far as the movement goes, you've got these four buttons here, so this should be forward and backward. And then you got your turn. Right. Um, I don't know. I'll try picking something up before we go down to the floor. These little cast guys are heavy. Let's see what happens. Because they're not hollow, they're solid. Yeah. Got it by the card, slipped uh, slipped through because they are such a heavy resin. Not like a pop can or anything, they're pretty hefty. Okay, well, I don't know that I have any empty pop cans out here. What have I got that would be lightweight? and yet fit within the claw. Could be a tough one. I didn't give this any pre-thought. We'll think of something though. Let's, uh, let's turn the camera around here 
and go to our normal play zone of this white square so that I know if I'm within that square I'm probably okay as far as being on camera. Put that there. there what about one of these little wind-up robots? Let's try that. Start with something easy, right? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to need to do is lower my claw. Get it where it's ready to raise. Okay, now let's go forward. All right, now let's close. Still opening. Now it's closing. Okay, I think it's got it. Now let's raise. Yeah, we got it. Okay, well let's uh, let's zoom off with it. We should try turning the other way though. Right, let's put that little guy down. Right, bring it down. Open the claws. Back away. I'm getting the hang of it now. All right. There you have it. It's your... Z707 Battle Iron Claw by Radio Shack. Very cool toy.